Hey there. Um, what we're going to tie for you today is a uh, hair and silicone combination jig. Uh, great small mouth jig. Uh, in the vise we have a weedless round head 1 8 ounce jig with a 1 odd Aberdeen hook. Uh, we're going to get started right now with some brown uh, 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. And again, this is going to be a jig where we're going to tie just on the lead. So once we get a few wraps, cut our tag end off. We're going to start with some brown bucktail. Now what I'm going to use here is actually um, the back of a natural bucktail. It has a really nice model look to it um, with brown, uh, brown and tan in it. Works really good with a brown color jig. We want this, again, about a half inch behind the hook, no further. Let's see where we're at here. Find my scissors. Bucktails, my favorite way to, my favorite material to tie with. Couple loose wraps. and basically pinch it that the bucktail goes all the way around. Put a few wraps in to secure and check. We're almost, we're going to need a little more, a little more brown bucktail, the natural. off the back what we already have tied in so that way we know what to trim on okay that looks good Now the next thing I'm going to tie in is some black bucktail. Now with this, I want the black bucktail to be shorter. Every time I'm, this is more of a layer type jig. So I want it about maybe to the end of the hook, maybe a little higher. I think the layered look just looks more alive in the water, in all honesty. When you get your wraps, a couple loose wraps, you can take it and just pinch the bucktail around and it usually uh, will follow the thread. And then you can pull your loose ones out. Don't get upset. You always um, you'll always get a few loose ones. Um, it happens. But make sure you pull them out that you don't uh, have them in there. And when you go to fish, always pull on to make sure that they're tight. As I, all the time I'm going along tying, I'll move the hair back to make sure it's all in. See, I'm still pulling some loose ones out where I don't have it locked in yet. It needs some more bucktail. And again, it's easy just to use what's in there and gauge it for your uh, measurement to see your length. There we go. 
that is all around. One thing you always get with bucktail is you'll get flair. Um, once you get used to working with it, you you can you know how tight to make it before um, you you can get the thread around the top and cinch it down before it flares out on you. Can even use the flare uh, to make a collar for your jig if you like. Now we have that. I'm going to use some copper flash. Again, one of the things I like with these hair jigs is I like having a little bit of flash. Tie a single strand in and fold it over. That's your your best way of tying the stuff in because it does keep it uh, very, very secure that it don't pull out because it is very thin. Because of it being thin like that, it would make it easy to pull out. So we fold it over. Basically, we double it. And then it's wrapped twice. So now we got our flash in. Secure wraps. Now we're going to tie in our silicone. Uh, what I'm going to use, always try to use some kind of contrasting color. Uh, but something that we have in here, since we have the black and the brown, I'm going to use uh, this color, which is called Okeechobee Craw. It's um living image. It's blue, olive, and black in there. And as you can see, what I did was I took a half a tab and I quartered it. So now we have just a quarter of a tab since it's small I'm going to see where it is we're laying on top of here and this stuff stretches so you don't have to worry about it being above the head here we're going to trim that off because we're going to tie it in low let's get it and make sure we have the silicone all the way around we have complete coverage on the jig. You don't want a ton of strands. I think there's um, 10 strands in this, maybe 11. That's it. Any more than that, and it gets crowded. You just want these strands in to be just a little extra, just a little extra movement. Um, something different this is the tricky part because it snaps back on you don't want any gaps or any holes if you get a gap don't worry about it In fact, if you get a gap, the pieces that you cut it from, you do like I do. You take two little strands here and fill in the gap. It's kind of cheating, I know, but it works. Now, it's really nice. I'm going to secure it in, and before I finish it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors here and I'm going to trim this really, pull it tight and trim it and it'll pull down below your threads. Now we'll finish it up. I 
How do you know when you're finished with the reps? Well, when you have no more material showing. And all your material is secure. And you have the neck to the thickness you want. Everything's in there secure. Whip finish. bit of head cement and there you have it now later on I'm gonna put a weed guard in this but for the most part there you have it this is a small mouth hair jig with silicone and you see when it goes upside down when it hits the when it hits in the water all that silicone is gonna bounce your hair is gonna move around even has a little bit of flash um, let me zoom out here and see if you can get a better look at it there you have it Nice and easy, and it works like a charm. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.